Our new machine U500 XD1 is a solution for these customers. The U500 XD1 is a multi-face machining center that enables process integration. As the machine is equipped with a large built-in tilting rotary table, a jig up to 500 mm in diameter can be mounted. A variety of specs to enhance productivity are available, including a 28-tool magazine spec. For conventional BT-30 multi-face machining machines or BT-30 machines with a two-axis index table, there are restrictions on the size of workpiece that can be mounted. So, even when workpieces are aluminum die casting, there are cases where you have to select a BT-40 machine. The U-500 XD-1 is equipped with a tilting rotary table that can handle a large workpiece of 500 mm in diameter and length of 270 mm while maintaining high productivity and energy efficiency. As process integration is promoted by multi-face machining, the required number of tools may increase accordingly. In response to these needs, Magazines with different capacity are available, up to 28 tools. The U-500 XD-1 provides a larger jig area while maintaining the conventional small footprint. With a variety of machine specifications, including a 28-tool magazine, the U-500 XD-1 will enhance process integration at the customer's premises. The machine is used for multi-face machining of mainly die cast parts. For automobile parts, they include EV gearbox housing 305 by 260 by 90, EV motor case cover 400 by 350 by 40, EV inverter case 400 by 280 by 150 and steering rack housing 350 by 170 by 120. The longer side of all these parts is 300 to 400 millimeters. Process integration is possible by the large built-in tilting rotary table on the U500 XD1. The machine can also respond to needs for multi-face machining in other industries such as aircraft parts 300 by 250 by 100 and born plate 280 by 50 by 3 all begin by describing machine performance the U-500 XD-1 is equipped with a large built-in tilting rotary table to secure sufficient jig area. Specifically, a workpiece to produce a case with a longer side of 400 mm can be set and rotated for the appropriate machining process to perform multi-face machining. The maximum jig size is 500 mm in diameter and the height is 270 mm. Specific dimensions of the jig that can be mounted are as shown in the figure. Detailed dimensional drawings are provided in the catalog. Please check them when designing the jig. For the Z-axis, the distance between the table top and the spindle nose end is 445 mm. The Z-axis travel is 300 mm. It lowers 300 mm from the spindle nose end. This figure shows when the A-axis is tilted 90 degrees. Y-axis travel of 400 mm is secured for the maximum jig size of 270 mm. I'll now describe the structure of the large tilting rotary table. The rotary table uses a highly accurate and maintenance-free roller gear cam mechanism for both the A and C axes. Different to an index table with general worm gear structure. 
The CAM followers constantly contact the CAM surface, ensuring backlash-free operation. Therefore, highly accurate machining is possible. In addition, as the CAM followers rotate with low resistance, the service life is extended, and there is little deterioration in accuracy even after long periods of operation. Another notable feature is the level of allowable inertia. As the jig becomes larger and the weight increases, the jig inertia increases accordingly. For a tilting rotary table that can be mounted later on a BT-30 machine, the allowable inertia is generally not sufficient. So, considerable man-hours are required for jig design. For the roller gear cam mechanism used on the U-500 XD-1, the allowable inertia is more than adequate. 1.5 around a axis and 1.8 around C axis. This makes jig design easier. Further, parameters for high inertia mode have been prepared to support more flexible jig design. I'll now introduce magazine-related features. 14-tool, 21-tool, and 28-tool magazines are available. There are many customers wanting higher magazine capacity to hold a few more tools as they promote process integration. We are convinced that the newly developed 28-tool magazine can be of help for process integration at the customer's premises. Specs of all these magazines support a maximum tool length of 250 mm and a maximum tool weight of 4 kg. Special tools such as a stepped drill can be set. The spindle speed is 10,000 revolutions per minute, and optionally 16,000 revolutions per minute. The spindle taper is BT, and optionally BT dual contact. Coolant through spindle or CTS is optionally available, and can be selected from 3.0 MPa or 7.0 MPa. CTS can improve chip evacuation performance during peck drilling or surface roughness on reamed holes. For recent EV parts, handling of remaining chips is more stringent than ever before. High pressure CTS is effective for locations where chip evacuation is difficult, such as tapped holes. A side door is optionally available for the U-500 XD-1. As the A-axis tilts 120 degrees toward the column side, some sections may not be visible when performing setup. Selecting a side door option improves visibility during setup. The rotary joint is a notable option for the U-500 XD-1. Six connection ports to the jig are provided on the disc section of the rotary table. Another six connection ports to the hydraulic or pneumatic source are provided on the left side of the rotary table. These ports support both hydraulic and pneumatic power. When you select a rotary joint option, piping between the jig and the rotary table is completed at brother before shipment. Customers need to prepare a jig and a hydraulic or pneumatic source. I'll now move on to the pursuit of high productivity. As its name implies, productivity and speed have been extensively pursued for the Speedio. Productivity has also been extensively pursued for the large built-in tilting rotary table. The A-axis indexing feed rate is 50 revolutions per minute. The C-axis indexing feed rate is 75 revolutions per minute. The A-axis positioning time is 0.9 seconds at 90 degrees and the C-axis positioning time is 1.2 seconds at 90 degrees. When you imagine a general indexing table with two axes, 
you may think indexing takes 2 to 3 seconds. However, the U500 XD1 has achieved high speed indexing as a roller gear cam mechanism is used. Positioning time is wasted time as no chips are generated. The U500 XD1 has thoroughly eliminated this wasted time. In addition to the roller gear cam mechanism, the machine features high productivity like other Speedio series. Regarding tool change time, tool to tool for 14 and 21 tool magazines is 0.6 seconds, and chip to chip is 1.2 seconds, achieving overwhelming speed. Chip to chip is measured in a state as close to an actual machining site as possible, including the spindle speed and Z axis positioning. Tool to tool and chip to chip for the 28 tool magazine is higher by only 0.1 seconds each. In addition to this, Brothers' original controller further reduces wasted time by simultaneously performing tool change and positioning the A and C axes. The machine cuts out any waste at the customer's machining sites to greatly improve productivity. I'll now move on to the new D00 controller. The new D00 controller was released in 2020. This provides a global standard user interface, and received the IF Design Award 2021, one of several outstanding global design awards. A touch panel is standard, and can be operated with bare hands or wearing gloves. Intuitive operation, just like using your smartphone, is possible. The screen size is larger so that you can gain sufficient information at a single glance. I'll now describe the D00 controller in detail. A new home screen has been created for the D00 controller. Previously, you had to open one screen to check the cycle time, and open another to check the volume of machined workpieces. On the new home screen, you can check the information you need at a single glance. The information needed at the worksite is displayed. For example, the cycle time to enable you to visually understand the remaining machining time, workpiece counter, and remaining tool life. Shortcut keys are provided to make on-site operation easier. As conventional screens are still available, you can change to these if you prefer. The main feature of the D00 controller is the support apps. Relevant functions are grouped and assigned to each app, so you can use Brothers controller just like a smartphone. For example, touching, adjust machining parameter. Displays options to improve the machining surface or items to reduce the cycle time. You can easily perform cycle time reduction setting by simply following the instructions on the screen. Anybody can readily use Brothers Controller. In addition to this, there are apps that you can check daily or weekly production results or operating results, or you can check power consumption. Using these apps helps improve your production sites. The recovery support app is also very handy. For example, if power is interrupted during tapping or the machine stops during magazine turn due to air interruption, use this app. You can recover the machine by yourself by simply following the instructions on the screen. You don't have to call the manufacturer's service engineer. Many convenient functions have been added. Override operation during tapping is now possible, which was not possible in the past. Up to 20 of the latest cycle time logs can be saved. Cycle time logs can also be saved for each tool. 
we're sure these features will help improve the customer's work sites. Other functions include accessing manuals, accessories such as a notepad and calculator, and a load monitor that predicts overload during machining. So many functions have been added. I can't fully describe all of these here. So please visit the Brother showroom to view and touch the machine. For multi-face machining. Coordinates when rotating need to be calculated. The rotary fixture offset G54.2 and fixture coordinates setting G68.2 are optionally available. These are effective for coordinate calculation. Please use these options for multi-face machining or machining with frequent indexing. Hardware specifications have improved for the D00 controller. Block processing speed has improved fourfold. The number of look-ahead blocks has greatly increased from the previous model. As a result of these improvements, the machine fully demonstrates its capabilities, particularly in three-dimensional machining. There are reports that when the same program was run, the cycle time was reduced by 20% or more on a machine with the D00, compared to a machine with the former controller. For customers wanting to reduce the cycle time of three-dimensional machining, please try the Speedio. In addition, the memory capacity, zero points that can be set on workpiece coordinates, and tool data capacity have been increased. So, the system can respond to the increase in program capacity due to CAM or others. Network functionality has been strengthened. Industrial networks Ethernet, IP and Profinet are now supported in addition to the conventional CC Link, DeviceNet, and Profibus DP. This is prepared for automation trends in the future to make connections easier. OPCUA is now spreading as an industrial protocol. This is also supported. As for IoT, the Internet of Things, the Speedio can be directly connected to operating monitor software made by another manufacturer via OPC UA.